Primo Levi was a young Italian Jew who survived 10 months in Auschwitz. After liberation from the camp in January 1945, he returned to his hometown of Turin, Italy. Levi attained worldwide fame for his writings after the war. He wrote the poem Shema in January 1946. You, who live secure in your warm houses, who return at evening to find hot food and friendly faces. Consider whether this is a man who labors in the mud, who knows no peace, who fights for a crust of bread, who dies at a yes or a no. Consider whether this is a woman without hair or name, with no more strength to remember, eyes empty and womb cold as a frog in winter. Consider that this has been. I commend these words to you. Engrave them on your hearts. When you are in your house, when you walk on your way, when you go to bed, when you rise, repeat them to your children. Or may your house crumble. Disease render you powerless. Your offspring avert their faces from you. The poem Shema was written in January 1946, which is a very short time after the end of the Holocaust. Primo Levi was uh, liberated from Auschwitz in January 1945. And this is a very early warning to the world, to his readers, to convey what had just happened in Europe, to convey the potential for human evil. When one teaches this poem in the, in the classroom, uh, there are certain main uh, points that come out. The first one is the first word of the poem. Primo Levi starts with you, which means that you, everybody in the world, or all the readers of the poem, should be engaged in conveying what happened in Europe. This includes, obviously, the absolute imperative to talk and teach about the potential of human beings for the cruelty that he had just witnessed and experienced himself. Primo Levi actually divided the poem up into three main parts. The first four lines are his uh, approach path to the general public, to the people that are reading the poem. The middle part of the poem is a very short but um, extreme description of the Holocaust. And the last part of the poem is where he invokes the prayer uh, the central prayer in the Jewish liturgy, Shema, or listen, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. Uh, and he uses that to bring this injunction, this order, to talk and teach about the potential of human beings for the cruelty that he had just witnessed and experienced himself. When I read at the end of the poem the threats that he uses, if we do not teach about what happened in Europe a year ago. Um, I feel the plight and the pain of the survivor coming through. And I think this is a very important uh, point to emphasize because it's very difficult for us after the Holocaust to imagine the extent of the tragedy that they went through physically during the Holocaust. 